This is one of my vacuum bags. It has a quarter inch air line with a connector on it and it comes into the t into the bag about two inches beyond where the sealant is. I use tacky seal to seal the tubing into the bag. I make a small slit where the tubing comes in and then I seal the tubing with the tacky seal and then I put breather over the uh, end of the tube um, so that the uh, bag can breathe and I'm going to make a new bag because I wore out one of my other bags and I'm going to make a video here showing how I make one of these bags. I'm going to keep this one here for reference. <coughs> First thing I'm going to do is make a, another airline and I'm going to basically copy the one that I have here, take the airline and you can just cut it with sharp scissors. With the particular fittings I'm using, you press, you put the fitting over the airline. You put the insert into the tube. You put it into a fitting that has a receptacle for it. Then you put the the hold down nut over it. And then You tighten it down and that clamps the tubing into the airline. Take it off and you have the fitting attached to the tubing. Put that aside. So now what I need to do is make a slit in my bag. And you have to be careful while you're handling the vac the bag because any little nick becomes an air leak and the bag is worthless. So you have to be very careful handling the bag and the, a knife around the bag. All it takes is a small slot about a half an inch long. put the tubing through so you know where the tubing is, is going. Now what I'm going to do, now that I know where my tubing goes, is I'm going to get this bag out of the way. Get my tacky seal out. And 
and I'm going to cut six pieces. They're about four inches long, three to four inches long. because the tacky seal is really tacky and that's why we have the tube in here so we can see exactly where we want to put the tacky seal side I didn't get my tacky seal exactly centered on the uh Tubing, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, now that I've got the tacky seal in place, I'm going to pull the tubing back out a little bit. So I've got about two inches sticking out. Now you just press the tacky seal down. And you form it around the tube. And you form it around the edge of the bag. And you push the tacky seal strips together. all there is to making a bag for vacuum bagging your wings or other parts. We've got the tube sticking out so that we can get the breather to it. we got the tubing with the uh, fitting and the thing to do now is to pressure test the uh, or vacuum test the bag I'm not going to show you that, but what you do is hook it up to your vacuum rig and check and make sure it pulls the amount of vacuum that you expect it to pull. So what I'll do is I'll hook this up to my vacuum pump just with a piece of breather in it and if it pulls up to the uh, vacuum level I expect it to pull to. I'll know I don't have any leaks in the bag or any leaks around the uh, the vacuum line. <clears throat> 